Okay YouTubers, it's our Daniel from Down Under. Just a quick tutorial on how to use VRoot and get our uh, files uh, exported to various programs um, to be recognised by various programs uh, to make it a lot easier when we're setting up a flight in FSX or FSX Steam. We'll both work with both. Uh, so, first of all, quick and easy. Departing airport it will be. I'm going to choose um, Berlin to Copenhagen this evening. So we'll go to the country is Germany for Berlin. Berlin Tegel, here he is. And we're flying to Denmark. And wait for it to load automatically. It'll automatically load the airports for that country. Just going to give it a minute. Once it says choose, you can then load up the airport you want to fly to. And that'll be Copenhagen. Righto. What it's done, it's given you the route, uh, roughly. A bit of a map there. And it's given you some routes here basically gives you the distance of each one how popular they are for with other users and it gives you an option to edit that route if you want to um, but no need really to edit unless you can find a better route these routes sometimes can be made up routes by other simmers um, by the program um, editors themselves or actual pilots as well as um, um, yeah, real life, real life pilots. So um, most of the time, um, the routes are fairly. Um, yeah, they relate to obviously um, your yeah, air axle sixteen oh three. Um, if I wanted to change that sixteen oh three, uh, for example, I wanted to update it to uh, a higher one then yeah, um, you can update your air axe cycle. The current air axe cycle is real life, in real life is 1603, so it will automatically update that to keep obviously everything up to date um, and keep my view automatically on the latest real life cycle. So at the end of the day, save that, you know it's the latest gear as far as SID, stars, runways, airports, etc. So let's go back to our routes page and looks like we're going to have to start again so we'll just quickly go Europe Germany Berlin and we are flying to yes we're flying to Europe yes we're flying to a Denmark airport and yes we'll be flying here here's our routes again that we had before Okay, so basically you just click on show and it basically brings up more details of, of the actual route itself. Um, and all we do now is we have a look at it, we say, yep, fantastic, it's spotted the waypoints, exactly have where we're going and it's nominated um, weather conditions along the way um, and it's given you, you know, the proper route itself which is <coughs> which is basically ready to be downloaded and exported to yeah wherever you want to go up here it'll give you weather updates um, the actual waypoints themselves are all listed here um, in this particular route it comes up with a map exactly where you are you can zoom in you can zoom out you can do whatever you like basically it's quite cool um, you can go to maps um, these are areas where uh, people may upload um, aerodrome maps of the airports themselves. User submitter, you can click on that, and there's some charts and, and other gear there in relation to that particular airport. And the same here for um, for Copenhagen as well. So there's a good database here for charts if you don't have any, so you know straight away what the airport looks like 
and you can download them from there etc some of them take them to, to websites or they're just links to an actual PDF itself so anyway we'll go back to our overview which is our first page and we will want to export this this is where we have to put in our details of our flight and our aircraft um, what time we want to leave uh, and all this sort of stuff so obviously the date the time time's going to be roughly 15 minutes from now that we're going to start simming altitude we can pick any altitude here that we wish to fly at I mean obviously the higher you go <coughs> the thinner the air the more economical the aircraft will run um, so let's choose 24,000 a feet and aircraft type this is where I think the free version won't list every single aircraft here um, hence I bought the premium version but you've basically got every single aircraft that you can think of that is payware that's got a valid FMC or MCDU etc that actually works um, to my knowledge anyway um, <coughs> So we're flying today. We're going to fly the uh, the PMDG triple um, seven, which is down here, and this applies to with fuel. Obviously, it's giving you that option. Click on that. Uh, don't worry about this. Don't know what it does. Got no idea. You can put a call sign in if you wish. Um, for example, if you're flying Singapore, Cathay Pacific, etc., uh, that will automatically be loaded into your uh, file for, um, for V root, and you'll see after <coughs> when we load up V root how it actually works. I won't go into the sim, but we'll call it um, C P A uh, one five one can be anything you like. So Cathay Pacific 151 and that's basically all the information it needs and now we have all the different file types we can spit this route out into any version that will be recognized by any one of these aircraft or any one of these programs um, starting from Flight Simulator X so we click export please wait and there's the file ready to be downloaded and this file is basically Simulator X is for the weather itself. Um, this file will be automatically recognized by Active Sky. So we right click that, save target, and put it into wherever you want to store all your files for Active Sky for your routes. So, for example, I've just made up a file routes Active Sky FSX. You go in here and you can see there's tons of routes that I've already put in here which um, can automatically be uploaded straight to Active Sky and Active Sky will recognize all the waypoints and all the information will be in Active Sky and that will generate the weather for that particular route at that time which is pretty cool so we're going to save Berlin to pass drop save and that's basically the weather taken care of next file we want is what V route wants to recognize or what vroot will recognize when we upload our file to VATSIM when we're flying online um, very very quick rather than sit there individually typing in um, your waypoints to um, upload to the air traffic control person at the time wherever you're flying on VATSIM this will do it for you automatically um, with a click of a button pretty much so we click generate and it will up and you can see it's changed the file it's now in a vroot um, recognizable file right click again save target and again I've listed my vroot files in here and here's all my files that I use for particular routes that I've done in the past that vroot will organize save and it's put it in there basically ready to go last file was obviously the root for the PMDG. Um, now that will, as we all know, an RTE file for PMDG FMCs, both 737 and 777. 
um, hence the listing of aircraft here that this particular file was recognized by all of these PMDG aircraft so right click again save target and we go to basically our flight plans um, route page for PMDG 777 which is going to be obviously where local disk get into our <coughs> excuse me <coughs> program files steam steam apps common and here's our FSX root directory and basically we'll scroll down till we find PMDG there and here's the file we want right there flight plans um, if you want it to go into the NGX obviously you click NGX and there's all your RTE pre-saved uh, flight plans that you've made that I made previously using the same um, program but I want it in the 777 one so I will now save that in the 777 job done basically all we've got to do now guys is start our sim um, and upload stuff on Active Sky, V route, and find that route in the FMC of the aircraft once we're setting the aircraft up on the ground at the airport that we're going to be at, which will be in this case Berlin. Um, I'll start up Active Sky. So basically we can now just minimize that for now. Um, basically click an easy way of that, that file that I originally saved in here will now be loaded into here. And to do that you go to flight plan. Normally you would put in a departing da 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 and destination da 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 da. Um, and then obviously make up your own route etc if you wish to do that which takes forever um, load my directory roots active sky we're already in there obviously and we find that file that we recently saved which will be Berlin to Copenhagen double click bang as you can see it's loaded that route in Active Sky waypoint by waypoint and it's given us wind speeds the direction temperatures the whole lot for that particular route at every single waypoint um, the beauty with this is it's given you your altitude that you've initially put in when we set it up with V route and it's automatically put it in there. It was all in that file saved and Active Sky recognized all the information and put it all in the right spots, pretty much. Um, all these I don't touch. It just generically gives you whatever. Um, you can put it on turn at air, um, airport in here if you wish. You don't have to. Um, but that's, a bit, that's about it, guys. Um, apart from that, uh, that's about it. That's pretty much the ball game as far as um, using VRoot to set up. Um, now that you've seen Active Sky, I'll minimise that and I'll quickly load up VRoot, which is basically your online software for online flying. Same thing again, flight plan, remembering that we saved the VRoot file underneath our Active Sky file in this here. Oh, there's all my VRoot files. Okay, we'll just close that. At the moment, this is what we'll be sending to the air traffic controller if we were flying online. So he knows exactly where we're going and then he can give us clearance for that route. Um, normally, you would type in individually each airway which was there and obviously your waypoints in between that if there is any and another airway etc etc but this way we load we find that route again which is the DDT to EKCH double click 
and you can see it's brought up the route automatically it's brought up our cruising altitude automatically speed default it stays like that don't touch it um, it's actually given us automatically a alternative airport and it's given us obviously the uh, departing airport and arriving airport obviously it's an IFR flight click heavy if it's a heavy aircraft for example it will be if it's a 777 and you basically when you are online it would have this lit up click that and that would send that route straight to the air traffic controller and he would know exactly where you're flying it's as simple as that um, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial guys um, hope if there's any questions comments or whatever I'm pretty new to the YouTube videos so I'll try and get back to you if I can but um, that's brief rundown on on V route cheers guys